to a way, guys. Um, you guys are gonna take. I wanna take you guys on a trip on the most emotional vlog you will ever watch. So, um, I first have to start off by apologizing to my subscribers for being so AWOL this year. You know, it's been an extremely difficult year for me. And, um, I really thought I was dealing with a lot of the issues that I had, but I really wasn't. I was just like running away from them. And the reason I didn't make any videos and stuff is because I really did go through all of it this year, you know? Like a lot of things happened and it just had me like shaken. So yeah, let me start by apologizing to you guys. I don't know if the lighting is doing you guys a favor, but I wanna start by apologizing because I feel like people think that I'm not serious about where I'm taking the channel, you know, and stuff. But um of course I wanna do videos for you guys and stuff, but I just I got lost for some time. Um uh, I just came to the realization that I really don't know how to deal with my issues and a lot is just happening and I, I just feel like my life has become so like blurred you know when you, you don't know where you're going you don't know what's gonna happen you don't you don't know what you're meant to be doing I feel like my friend actually explained it to me Tando, she was saying that you know people go through what they call a quarter life crisis where they just don't know what's going on and on top of that you're experiencing heartbreak pain and you just have to always you have to always show up and i think for me it became difficult to show up at some point like it became extremely tough to show up and you know give the channel my all and do everything because i really felt like i don't even know why i'm doing this anymore you know um i also just became a wreck you know when they say hurt people hurt people I just became like a wreck around people that I love and I care for and I just became like so irresponsible at some point that you know I felt like I couldn't really talk about what was going on so I just I lashed out all the time towards everybody that I ever cared about and uh, wait let me just fill up some petrol because my car's beat. Um. Yeah, guys, I was just going through all of it at some point and I really felt like giving you guys content when I knew that I really wasn't even in a space to be on YouTube would have just been an actual waste of time because there was even a point where I really second guessed if I wanted to do YouTube, you know, I mean, people think that, oh, you know, um, this YouTube thing is simple and all you need to do is just give content, you get free stuff, you get free whatever. But it's actually a lot of work it's a lot of work and it's a lot of time and effort and dedication and if you 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 put it in and you don't see the work you end up like doubting and what the f what the f <sighs> i think um i began doubting if i wanted to do youtube anymore and i didn't want to tell you guys because i really just personally felt like it, this was a decision that i had to make on my own and I didn't want it to be influenced by the people that I was going to disappoint when I made the decision that I really, I perhaps don't want to do YouTube anymore because I was really going through all of it. Um, this reminds me around the time when my mom died. I really didn't deal with things. I just carried on, you know, like I just, I cried about it when I was alone, but I, I didn't really deal with the fact that she's gone. I am a very bad dealer when it comes to emotions i really think i'm over something and then it turns out that you know i'm not really over it at all and this year has been extremely difficult for me because i lost friends that i never thought i would lose um i experienced terrible heartbreak and 
I don't know, I just became the worst version of myself that I had never seen in a really long time. Like, I didn't know that I could cause so much destruction from just not talking and not dealing with things. Like, I, I became such a destructive human being. And I just didn't want to do that and, like, do YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I just, I couldn't. I really couldn't. I don't know, this angle is not working for me. So... Yeah, like I just went through all of it this year and sometimes I wonder like why am I Why did I have to go through all this pain? You know what I'm saying? Because I I like to think I'm a nice person. I mean, I make my mistakes. I am I can be a really really terrible person, but I Just didn't understand why I had went through so much like 2018 was so bad like if I could skip a year Initially, I thought I wanted to skip 2010 when my mom died, but you know, 20, 2018 takes the cup. Um, I don't think I've mastered the, the strength of really dealing with things when they happen. I run away from a lot of my issues emotionally, and I just convince myself that it's whatever I want, it's not. So, um, I don't know, guys. I don't know if I'm going to be doing much of anymore. And because I just feel like emotionally and mentally, I don't know if I'm in a space right now where I want to share my life on camera anymore because I feel like I've done that. Like, I've always been a private person. I've always been very specific about what I let people know. And this year has shown me that a lot of people will do anything they can to break you down. You know what I mean? And people have people have broken me down this year like people that i never in a million years thought would put me through so much and till now i can't even figure out why so with the year that i've had i've always been delaying the fact that i wanted to do a tattoo and i haven't told anybody you guys are the first people to know because when you guys find out no, <laughs> my family's gonna find out. Um, I'm gonna go to a tattoo, and I don't know what resemblance the tattoo is supposed to have to the, my issues, but I think it's just one of those things. Like I've been postponing doing it. I've been wanting to do it, and the message behind it is what will keep me going. Cause I always said that I wanted to do a tattoo. Why am I so dark? Even when I'm light, I'm ugly, guys. You, oh my god, I'm such an ugly crier. Ooh, wow. Okay, whatever. Um, the tattoo that I want to do is gonna say, "Every now and again, the stars will align." And the meaning behind that is because, you know, when things aren't going right, sooner or later the stars will align and everything will happen in your favor. And I'm really hoping that's what happens for me because I feel like I've been so destructive. I, I'm self-destructing at this point I have been doing things and and you know telling myself ah oh, it's whatever ah oh, it's whatever and truthfully it's not always whatever like I've been taking chances with my life and I don't know why I've been taking all these chances because if you guys had to meet my dad you would realize that my dad is such a black father like he will literally cancel you if you you know um but I've been taking chances and he's been letting he's kind of been so soft with me and not really soft like but not not as rigid as he normally is with the rest of his kids and I think it's because I don't know like I'll tell you guys a story the other day um, my dad wanted to see me for lunch like out of the blue out of the blue and he didn't know what I was going through but I think he could sense I don't know if he just he just felt like in that moment that like he wanted to see me and me alone and now I don't have a close relationship with my dad like my sister does like I love my dad but my sister's a lot more closer to my dad and I think I've been very detached because I've been trying to find myself a lot and we had lunch and I was in so much pain like I wished I could tell my dad half the things that were going on but you can't you know because you have that relationship with your parents or your parents or your parents but he just felt that, you know what, I just want to see the lady and the lady alone. And 
it was so difficult not being able to tell my father in that point in time that you know what dude it's lit out here you know but i think he could just sense and i think it's so hard for me to really be open about how i'm feeling because i never really talk about it i never really talk about anything that's going on i always brush things down i always downplay everything everything and i'm i've always got such an aggressive um defense mechanism because i'm just you know it, it, it's just that but um i'm not coping anymore and i don't know if youtube right now is the space that i need to be in whilst i you know just find myself i don't know if i'm finding myself anymore and just having my life out there is doesn't make it any easier it doesn't make it any easier for me so yeah we're gonna get this tattoo done and i'm not sure if this might be my final video but if it is if it is my final video i just want you guys to know that i'm genuinely so grateful for the support that you guys have given me i'm so grateful for how you guys continue pushing me even when i don't even want to push myself you guys mean everything and um i'm sorry that i couldn't be the the content producer that you guys needed me to be and it's just because i was going through so much and i couldn't really talk to anyone and i began just spiraling downwards and now i have to climb back up but i need to find a way to do it without hurting anyone or you know just doing anything because i think i just became someone i can't recognize so we're gonna go do this tattoo and we're gonna stop with the tears and the waterworks but i just need you guys to know how grateful i am for the support how grateful i am for everything you guys have done in terms of supporting subscribing pushing me when i didn't even want to push myself i'm so glad that you guys have stuck around and um want to do this tattoo together as a little youtube family so this might be my last video guys it might be but if it's not if I just so happen to decide that this is what I really want to do, just know that I'm just grateful for all the support. So, yeah, if you guys can recommend how to deal with things, um, whether it's talking to someone, definitely comment down below because I would love to just see what can help. Um, I'm definitely open to things because I feel like now I need to deal with the fact that I've had depression, I've, I've, I've just masked a lot of my pain and a lot of my confusion with just it's whatever it'll blow over but it really won't so if you guys can recommend someone to talk to anything to me comment down below and that would be really great guys so let's drive and get this tattoo wow I can't believe I didn't tell anyone in my family that I'm getting a tattoo this is weird but let's go hey guys I have no idea what's going on at the lighting but we're here and I don't even know how to get in oh here the space. Hi guys. So um, I got here a little bit early because I wanted to see what kind of designs they have and stuff. But um, it's a bit awkward to be walking in the vlog. Like I'm going up the stairs now. They said they're in a Babe King store, so I need to go inside Babe Kings. And when I get inside Babe Kings, I need to look for this guy. His name is Daniel. I found him on Tando's Instagram. Sorry, Tando. Tando Konza. If you guys know her. Um, she did a tattoo not too long ago and it was this guy Daniel and I just felt like you know Daniel's gonna do my tattoo now. So that's what we're gonna do guys. Okay, I found the babe kings. Hi guys, how are you? Is Daniel the, the tattoo? Yes, okay. Yeah for sure. I'm I'm here a little bit early though. So, yeah for sure you guys don't mind that I'm vlogging, right? Of course not. Okay. Na lady. But he said I must come at quarter to three, so I'm still chill. So guys, this is the Vape Kings in where am I? North Cliff. That's where I am. It's so big, guys. It's so huge. I don't see Vape Kings this large. We have a Vape Kings in the south. No, that's Vape Cartel. Yeah, there is one in the south. Is there? Where? 
Yeah, I only know vape cartel. Yeah. Hi. Hi Daniel, how are you? Good man. Yay! Guys, I can't believe I'm getting a tattoo. I've never got one before. I'm fucking nervous. Like, and I came alone. Did I not need moral support? I probably did, but eh, we're doing it now. So, if you guys want to get your tattoo done by Daniel, definitely come through to North Cliff. He's based in the uh, Babe Kings. So, let's go do my tattoo. <laughs> so waxing is more painful than a tattoo. I don't believe it. In my personal opinion, waxing is yeah. way more painful. But then again, I'm hairy as fuck. So yeah, I'm not really someone who's hairy. You, you must don't have to such a cool studio. Like what the fuck? And the lighting is doing the most. Thanks, Daniel. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Basically legit saying that it's not as painful as I think it's going to be. So we're just going to have to see. We're just going to have to see. Because I don't want you to jump. Yeah, okay. And I'll let you know exactly. And I'll do a little lot first. Something yeah. small and manageable. You said if I can if I can do waxing, I can stand this oh, pain, hell right? Oh, yeah. No doubt about that. Well, from my experience, at least, but I'm a hairy cocaine, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that's foul. That was terrifying. Okay, are you ready? No. This, this is cool. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm gonna do the little dots on the Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Here we go, one, two, three. That's all you did? Yeah. How did that? Nigga, bye. I don't need it anymore. <laughs> Once 
in the middle of summer and yes. I was fucking shut down. Really? So hot and humid, like Durban in summer. Yeah. That's what it feels like. So when it's hot, it's really difficult to manage. Yeah. But it's also so it's like extremes and it's cold, super cold. Well, it's extremes for us. We're very lucky with our weather. Yeah, we've got nice weather, don't we? How can we be talking about the weather from Pana for Vaginas? <laughs> I'm really proud of the fact that I did the tattoo. Um, the stars align really symbolizes a lot for me. And I've always wanted to do um, that tattoo for a really long time. So I'm really glad I did it. Um, it's got a lot of, um, it, it means a lot to me. Like the significance of the stars align mean a lot to me. So I'm glad that I ended up doing it and facing my fear. So yeah, guys. Um, look, I broke my tattoo virginity. I don't know how I feel about it because now I've got something imprinted on me forever. But for me, I think 2018 was a breakthrough. And when I went to go do that tattoo with you guys, I literally just went because I felt like now was the time. There's no better time to get the symbolic meaning um, inked on my skin. I'm not someone who likes to just get, you know, weird things and just tattoo whatever. No, no, no. It had to really be symbolic for me. And it, it was. And it was really just at a point where I felt like I was at my lowest. So the only way to go for me is up. And the stars will align at some point. So, yeah, guys. Thank you so much for taking this journey with me. I'm not going to go home and relax. And I will speak to you guys soon. Bye, guys.